Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video, we're back on Minecraft Java Edition because I'm going to be showcasing one of the best ever mods I've ever seen and used in Minecraft. So basically over the past couple of days, I've been cleaning out my PC, getting rid of some files. I actually came across my mods folder from 2016 slash 2017. Now one of the mods in this folder is called the Creeping Nether Mod. Now since the nether is the next place to be introduced and updated in Minecraft, I thought let's make a video on it. So how this works is you place down a nether portal and the nether creeps through the portal and starts to infect the overworld with changing the blocks, the ores, the trees, the environment and so much more. Now if you guys want to check this out for yourself, there'll be a link down below but uh, also guys let me know what you're excited about for the nether update because fingers crossed this week we are going to see the first ever snapshot for the nether. Now just to give you guys a brief showcase on what this is going to look like. Here is a prime example. You place down a portal and it starts to infect the overworld. Here's a little bit of an example here. We have uh, a new type of wood. So these were just ordinary logs. They've now been infected and they're called char wood because this is start to infect. Your crops will start to change into nether warts. Uh, we have the likes of soul sand, which was this one. Then turns into uh, an effect. It gives you weakness and slowness. Cobblestone starts to change to bloodstone and so much more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a brand new world and we're going to start this from the beginning. Just like in regular Minecraft, you have to start off by making yourself a portal. Now you can make the standard portal size. However, if you want to speed up this mod, it seems to be the bigger the portal, the faster the nether starts to creep into the overworld. Now we're going to be by a village because we're going to use this as a basic example. How to infect the likes of your trees, what the blocks are like. There's also a desert over there. Sand and sandstone transform into different blocks. Which you're going to see throughout today's uh, mod showcase. So we'll make it about this big. In fact we'll make it a little bit bigger than that. And we'll keep going up. Of course you can make this portal as big or as small as you desire, I think we'll go to about this size. And as, as normal, just light yourself a portal. Now I think in order for this to be activated, you have to go through the portal. When I was waiting in the overworld, it wasn't necessarily starting to spread. So just for the sake of this video, we'll pop through into the nether. Load up the nether and we'll simply go straight back through. However, this portal's smaller. So uh, yeah, okay, it put us in the right location. Now that we've done this, it's basically going to start to spread. Now, it's not just grass that changes. Everything will fully change as I started to show you. Now, if we had a couple of mobs down here, for example, once this starts to spread, if we place down a slime, it will turn into a magma cube. If we take, place down a pig, it will transform into a zombie pigman. I think cows explode and sheep are also given that they, they get smited. So we're just going to wait for this to start to spread. So it is starting to spread at a pretty rapid pace now. Uh, again, this will not just change grass. It will start to change other blocks. So if we place down a couple of cobblestone, these are also going to start to change. We'll also place down a little bit of sand. And we'll also place down a little bit of sandstone. Now water turns to melting obsidian, which then transforms into lava. So this is also a really, really good one. So we'll put a bucket there. I'll put... Three buckets there, and we'll also put one over there. Now we do have ourselves a pig, and like I said, pigs will turn into zombie pigmen. So you place down a pig. Come on, little piggy. Once he starts to move, he will be smited, and then he will turn into a zombie pigmen. I think villagers also turn into... There you go. Uh, villagers also start turning into witches. I didn't mean to place you there, piggy. Sorry, I was meant to be... Uh, there you go. There's two, two zombie pigments as a prime example. I'm going to put you down there as well. Now, the longer you leave this, it's not just the top player that will start to change. The longer you leave it, the y-axis will start to change. So this is managed to go down by three. If I leave this one open, that will eventually start to change into uh, nether-related blocks. Now, this one's also changed, and this is slightly different from obsidian. It's called melty obsidian. Um, I really don't know the difference between that, because I really haven't experienced this too much in survival. I just thought it was a really, really cool mod. And, and again, it's starting to transform a lot faster. I want to try and even this has started to change. Although none of them have started to transform into water. So I kind of want, sorry, into lava. I kind of want to show you guys. 
that it does transform into lava. And this is a really good example because it's going to start to infect down there. It's cold down there. And I want to show you something to do with that as well. Uh, that's also changed. But you can see the obsidian has now turned into bloodstone. Sorry, the cobblestone has now turned into uh, what it's called as, as bloodstone. These will also start to change. This is called soulstone. So sand turns into this. or It might be sandstone. And then you end up with the effect of weakness and slowness and something else has just walked over. I think it was another piggy as well. And here's the uh, the lava, sorry, the water that is now transformed into obsidian and then transformed into lava. So I think that's a really, really cool process. There's a lot more to show with this as well. So here's a, different, a couple of different variations that you can get inside of this one. I showed you the bloodstone. You then get the bloodstone to make yourself bloodstone uh, stairs which can be done with the crafting table. And I'll show you guys this as a prime example. It can also be done as slabs. I'm really curious though. I've not really placed the likes of a crafting table to see what happens with this. But of course they make your stairs and you did see before you can also make yourself some slabs as well. And I think it's brilliant, dude. It's one of the coolest things I've seen. I'm so glad that I actually found this again. That goes there as well. Yeah, they look really cool. The colors are absolutely fantastic. We'll leave that there as well. So you may have noticed that we also have different kind of ores. Corrupted... Catalyst, I'm not fully sure how these work, so my apologies. My guess is it's linked to soulstone because soulstone can transform into soulstone stairs and also slabs. But you'll notice that we also have the nether variations of ores. So your coal, what is it? Coal, iron, gold, diamond, lapis, redstone, and emerald. Now, according to the mod itself, it says ores corrupted by the creeping nether will have slightly higher yields. That's exactly what it says. So, oh, there you go. That was a villager. So a villager is transformed into a witch. And this thing just keeps spreading and spreading and spreading like a virus. And it's just not going to stop. And it seems like it, it is speeding up. I'm waiting for it to get to the trees. So yeah, these ores, guys, We'll break these in a minute. We're gonna put these over here as, as an example, actually, before it gets too far spread. One can go there. Two, three. They look really cool. The textures look brilliant on these. We'll just do, right, we'll do them all. We'll do them all. Because these work slightly different from your standard ores, okay? You're not just getting iron, you're not just getting gold, you're not just getting diamond, with that looks absolutely fantastic. Um, you're gonna get a couple more things back. So if we type in ores, we will go with all of them. And we'll place them around. As it starts to infect, your ores can change. And that's why this is really, really good. So as I showed you before, it starts to infect the y-axis. I did not mean to go back through the portal there. Oh yeah, these ores can also... The, the nether ores can also be found inside the nether as well, like standard. We go through here. This should be even further now. So you can see, we're starting to get a little bit further down now. And we're starting to find iron. So this would have been, by default, iron. So if we place down, I guess we'll place them all over here. A little bit of gold, a little bit of iron. These will become infected over a small period of time. And then so will the diamonds. That might change. I think if you place down a diamond that's already in there, they, these have already started to change. If you start to place diamonds and stuff in these ones, they will change quite fast rather than waiting really for it to start to infect over here. But these have already changed. That's changed as well. The emeralds changed. The redstone's going to start to change. And the diamonds here have also started to change as well. So all your ores will be infected. Now, if you wanted to save this, because maybe you didn't want to have, well, the whole entire nether infect your whole entire world. All you'd have to do for this for this to do, to stop, if you wanted to stop it right now, is simply break down the portal and it will stop doing anything else. And then if you wanted to continue the infection or you wanted to go back through, you would then just light it back up and it will start to do this again. Uh, but the trees change. They change to charred wood, which I'm curious, right? We have a crafting table over here. It turns into charred planks, which can then turn into charred variations of uh, slabs as well. Okay, I'm guessing stairs will be a possibility as well. All right, let's get um, a pick. Let's break these and I'll show you what this offers as well. In case you were interested in playing this for your own survival experience, we're just gonna break this with a diamond pick. Now by default, you know as a Minecraft player, when you break iron, you don't necessarily get the ores uh, back. So you get the ores, you don't get the ingots. With this one, it gives you nine iron nuggets. Now, if I remember correctly, 
We are then able to turn these into how many is it nine so you get one ingot which is which is perfect because if you're in a tricky situation and you didn't want to have to go back and smelt it you instantly get yourselves iron but you're gonna have to craft it i think it's the same with this as well this one gave us 11 so obviously you get more it's basically like having fortune on uh diamonds these just are just yet regular diamonds they work the same way as ordinary diamonds uh lapis works the same way we have redstone uh, emeralds work the same way. So it looks like lapis, redstone, and diamonds, and emeralds work the same way. Meanwhile, the likes of your iron and your gold, they're going to give you nuggets. Now we have this, right? These are nether essence. Now when you type, the, pat, like put these on the floor, it brings the nether to the overworld yourself. So as you can see here, we're then able to do this. And if we dig down, let's try this. I think, it, yeah, it goes down a couple of layers. Now I'm not entirely sure if this is also going to infect very, very slowly. This one only goes down by two layers. Uh, but if you wanted to have a small patch of the nether, I guess this is something that you could do. I don't know, I just really liked yours. I like the fact that you get nuggets back instead of getting the ingots. If I was to leave this for a couple of hours, the whole entire thing would be infected. The whole entire village would also be infected as well. Is that, is that villager holding a flower? She's holding a flower and she's trying to give him a flower. I've never seen that before. Anyway, slimes. You place down a slime, it will turn into a magma cube eventually at least that's what i'm told there we go okay that slime managed to escape uh cows explode they actually explode oh he went straight into the nether yeah there you go <laughs> uh but upon exploding you do end up getting nether essence as well so you're able to place i don't know place these over here if you really wanted to um sheep these get smited too Come on, little sheepy. They get smited, but they do not get killed. When they are smitten, smited, they will just drop themselves the, the wool. So you're not technically having to shear them or kill them. They have a chance of still living. Uh, not sure what happens to a chicken. I know a villager. These will transform into witches. Oh, they'll walk through there. There you go, that one changed. Some of them might just get there. We oh, he, he transformed into a zombie villager then. So he technically didn't change. Yeah, some of them transform. Ah, okay. So it looks like they have a chance to either be a zombie villager. Or they have a chance to be a witch. That's actually really, really awesome. So there is a couple more things with this mod that I've not had the chance to fully experience. We've got charged soul stone. Which, when you're standing on it, gives you wither, weakness, slowness, and nausea. I think that is crafted with dragon's breath. Possibly. Or it might be this one. It might be this one that's crafted with dragon's breath. And this one also produces wither, weakness, slowness, and nausea. So these are definitely two blocks that you don't want to mess with. Now, we've got the charred wood, but we've also got this one, which is uh, hollow wood. I'm not fully sure how to obtain that one. We have hollow rock, charged hollow stone, which seems to give you a boost. So there's, there's a way to get some be benefits from this. It's not all doom and gloom and negative effects. You've also got purification catalyst. Which gives you speed 2. So this one's speed 1, I think. And this one's speed 2. We've got Hallow Grass. Hallow Gold. And Hallow Diamond. Now, do I still have a Diamond Pick? Let's grab myself a Diamond Pick. And a forward slash game... Nope. Game mode S. That's... A di There's me being silly. I got myself a Diamond Shovel, not a Diamond Axe. Right, let's try this again. So we got to Survival. What is the difference between this and the other one? See, this one still produces nuggets. This one gets purified. So this one's slightly different from before. By the looks of things. But I'm still not entirely sure how this one works. That's going to kill me. And this is very, very evil. And that's not going to like me either. Uh, let's go back to game mode C. So there is a lot more hidden inside of this. Um, if we just clear out this and we go inside of here. We've gone over the majority of this. This just reminds me of glowing obsidian. And then you've got a couple other things here. Redstone, leaves, netherlight, nether essence, and purified. So if this works, hold on. If this works in here and turns that into that, right? If we go inside of here, is this technically going to start to turn? Ah, okay. So now it starts to make a little bit of sense. It does basically the opposite. So I'm... These villagers are still here. So I am really... If we, uh... 
Oh, it turns into a slime. So it does the opposite. So in a way you can kind of manually infect the nether to give you some rewards. And that's how, if I remember correctly, if we go to ores, we are gonna get ourselves the likes of these. So we put that there. We start to do this. Maybe that's not how it works. Maybe we have to wait for this to start being purified. Although I don't know if it was a diamond version. Let's go with gold. I know there was a gold, a gold version. Put that on there. Let's see if this works. Yeah, there you go. No, this one produces nether gold. Hmm. Interesting. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Again, I think it's one of the coolest things I've ever experienced in Minecraft. Everything's just gonna keep infecting. So have a great day. Let me know what you're excited about for the nether, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.